Hey you guys, so a lot of you probably already know, you know, that there's these different names for Jesus. And if you're like me, you've been trying to figure out and really wonder, you know, which is the right way? Is one of them better? Is one of them, you know, is, is, is Jesus or Yeshua like going to answer to only one of them? Um, whether it's Yeshua, Yehoshua, or Jesus. And, you know, there are many, many aspects of this, and I just kind of want to give my two cents in on this. Um, of course, you know, I feel like, yes, Yeshua or even Yehoshua is going to be, that is the real name. That was obviously the Hebrew, you know, translation um, straight to English. That is, that is what he was called. That is what the man was called. That is what his family and friends would have called him. And the earliest, um, even the earliest Christians, I guess you could say, still would have been calling him Yeshua. Okay. So on that name, on that alone, I mean, it's pretty clear, like, what would we call him? And then you think, okay, well, what does Jesus mean? And, you know, people talk about, oh, Jesus is you know, Zeus and it's the Greek, you know, term for this. And it's not that simple. That's kind of a real mis misunderstanding, misinformation. Um, you know, Jesus really does just mean Yeshua. It, it's the same thing. It's just that you go through that extra step of taking it to the Greek um, of, of Jesus. And, you know, even, I mean, gosh, I think people have only been really saying Jesus um, for not very long. I mean, not very long at all. Obviously the J didn't even exist, um, for a while. And it would have been, you know, even if you were taking Hebrew over to Greek, it would have been Jesus. Hey, like, kind of like, kind of like Jesus. Um, but more like a Jesus, Jesus or Asus, Asus, kind of like that is how you would spell it. And in the normal spelling would have been the I-E, kind of S-U-O-U-S. Um, and, and so Jesus, honestly, is going to be closer than Jesus um, because, again, the J just didn't exist. So, yeah, you know, when I think it's something just really important to keep in mind, especially, you know, as Christians or people who, you know, are the, have this kind of westernized view um, does it really matter? Probably not in and of itself, but it could really be indicative of bigger and more serious issues that can kind of come to light whenever you're looking at, like I said, like the deeper things and not just, oh, you know, is this the right term, you know, for Jesus or not? And it all, to me, it's worth, it's a conversation worth having just because Again, not, oh, not because, oh, you're saying the wrong name, like Jesus isn't going to listen to you. It's not as cut and dry as that because with a lot of these, with a lot, you know, with the Greco, you know, Romanization of the teachings of Jesus, you know, also came changes. And then when you look deeper into it and, you know, we're going to get into all of this here on this channel when you get into it, you know, a, a lot was changed and obviously it changed because Jesus, you know, Yeshua died and he said for his disciples, for his disciples that he knew to carry on the religion. And so then later on you have this whole other, you know, self-proclaimed apostle Paul coming through and how does it, all of a sudden he get to be, you know, he was killed just like some of the other apostles around the same time around what 66 AD but then you get into the issue of why is Paul almost have more um, say so than anybody else than any of the other apostles and almost put together you know why does Christianity get turned towards Paul instead of staying towards James the just or even Peter and you know there were arguments there were disagreements and of course the church, as it was later, you know, later talked about, came from, from Antioch. It came from, and, it, and a lot of it came from Paul. Okay, so yes, I don't think this issue of, you know, Jesus, Yeshua, Jesus, it, it doesn't, I don't think it makes a difference. If you know 
Jesus's heart, you know Jesus's heart. If you're doing the, if you're doing what Yeshua actually told you to do, then no, it's not going to matter. But if you are listening to, you know, Jesus as Paul tells you, um, and as you know, even the Roman Catholic Church and and other churches after that, then you might be getting some mixed signals because again, we have to just keep in mind and remember, you know, it's like. It's like xenophobia almost. You like have to keep in mind at all times that like your westernized version is not, you're not the ultimate authority, you know, on Jesus here. You're not, um, you're not the ones that this was given for. You know, we hear a lot of, oh, God bless America. God bless this. And we tend to think, you know, oh, this is like the Christian nation. You know, this is, and it's like, no, like we need to get out of that sort of misappropriation and get out of that mentality and get into the reality of the fact that Jesus was Jewish you know he was a Jewish and he clearly said he was not coming to change the law um, so that right there should really tell you a lot and you know again we'll get into this but you know when you're thinking about what do I call you know Yeshua Jesus I mean yes I feel more comfortable saying Yeshua um, I, I do more Jesus when I'm talking to other people, um, just because so they'll know what I'm talking about. You know, a lot of people don't even aren't even aware of this of this issue. Um, but there were definitely changes, and again, we're going to get into that. Um, you know, Jesus was King of the Jews. He he really was, and that's where it all goes. And if you even look at the inscriptions that were on top of the cross, the King of the Jew, um, you know, inscription there in all the different languages, it talks about Jesus. You know. I E S U S Nazarenus. And let's look at that. Like it wasn't really born in Bethlehem. You know, we have to understand that a lot of the stories and the mythologies that we've heard about Jesus and that were taught and even read in the scriptures have been altered and changed. Um, not even in a nefarious way necessarily, although I do think there was a lot of that going on, but regardless of whether you want to believe it or not if it was nefarious or not you really i think i think a lot of this just comes with being smart being smart you can be a christian you can call yourself a christian and be smart but don't just take you know the word that you've been told is like the ultimate infallible word of god and act like that that's true when in the bible it specifically states Anyone who changes this Bible, changes these words, you know, will be punished severely, you know, for an eternity. And it says that in Revelation. So why, if you believe in the Bible, would you not believe? Why would they, why would, why would that be in the Bible? You know, if it wasn't need to be there, if it was infallible, like it doesn't make any sense. Either it was placed in there, you know, or the Bible is infallible. Like there's no, there wouldn't, it wouldn't be in there. So I think, you know, for Christians to be walking around, you know, believing that Jesus is white and believing that you know, their little version of Christianity that they've been taught is like the ultimate version of what is truth is a lot of times it's going to be false. It's going to be false. And I'm not saying that to be like, oh, what I've come to find is right. And what you've always believed is wrong. Cause I, that's why I'm here. That's why I'm doing this is because I wasn't taught. And even though I've been for years now trying to get down to the bottom of this, it's like, I could spend my whole life, like a full-time job doing this, trying to get to the bottom of it. And, you know, that's why I want to help people, but I had to go through that process of myself, with myself too, and realize that what I was taught and even what I came to believe, like, wasn't necessarily what was real. It wasn't necessarily what is true. So again, I think if you're going to call Jesus, Jesus with this in mind, you know, with this understanding that he was Jewish, that he didn't come to abolish the law, that he came to make us follow it even more as he says and like these different things if we really do know who, who jesus is then i think it's okay you know to, to to call him jesus but i think if you're going to walk around and not get into the depths of those types of things and not get into these deeper truths about what jesus was truly about and you know and, and you're just listening to your sunday school teachers you know giving you the watered down version of christianity that that has been floating around now for for years and years and years you know i really think that you might find you know, after looking into it that you really are sort of possibly worshiping um or you know or or revering you know a, a person who was not the actual you know 
person and, and it's, it's you always have to be always have to be careful you know about placing our ideas of what you know Jesus was this or that or said this or that um, and it's a truth that we all have to find out for ourselves so I'm obviously never gonna tell anybody what to believe um, but I am gonna tell you, you know the things that I found and you know Yeshua means um, the same thing as Jesus when you look at, at, at the bottom line okay but again just make sure that the Yeshua you know or the Jesus that that you are working with talking to praying you know all of this that it is the same you know as the person would have been um, it's just really important it's important for Christians and non-Christians alike and um, yeah Yeshua means you know Yahweh is salvation um, so as long as we're understanding that and again in the same wavelength you know and that's part of the struggle like I said is figuring out you know what did Jesus really mean what did he really even say because you know we do know that spirituality and religion is one of the easiest ways to uh, you know send people off course and it also says that in the Bible too the wolf will come in sheep's clothing basically and we need to test test our religious leaders endlessly test them so that we know for sure and if you're not listening to that part you know of of, of the scriptures then you know again be careful of cherry-picking and believing what you want to believe and believing you know just what people have brought you up believing and again we want to get, definitely get out of that on this channel really get to the what the, what the truth is the real truth um, find the way you know here and not necessarily make our own way and just place our own views on top of everything else so I hope this video um, was good for you let me know I'll be back with more videos soon so take care bye